Hi everybody, I'm Bill Whittle and this is The Firewall. You know, every time there's a shooting in America, our moral betters on the left immediately ammo up the assault rifle of their rhetorical arsenal, namely, our country's sick, twisted obsession with personal firearms, our adolescent psychosexual, dangerous and frankly embarrassing when facing our European film critic friends, American gun culture. So, hopping over to the ever-reliable Wikipedia, for example, we discovered that when it comes to per capita gun ownership, the USA does in fact top the list in glory. When measured as the number of guns per 100 residents, the US comes in first at 90. 90 guns per 100 residents. Evidence for the progressives on the left that they do in fact live in the murder capital of the world because when it comes to gun ownership, America is number one with a bullet with by far the highest per capita gun ownership in the world. 90 guns per 100 people is half again more than the number two spot held by Serbia with 58. Now, all we have to do to prove the left-wing progressive weenie case for banning guns is to do a quick search for the per capita murder rate. And sure enough, leading the number two country, again, by about half again more, with 90 murders per 100,000 people is Honduras. Socialist gun controlled Honduras. Because even though America has by far the highest per capita gun ownership rate, we do not have the highest per capita murder rate. And unfortunately for the progressive leftist argument, we're not second either. Or third. In fact, when it comes to per capita murders, Team USA didn't even make the top five. As a matter of fact, we didn't even make the top 10. Or the top 20. Or the top 30 or the top 40. We're not in the top 50 per capita murders. Gun culture America is not in the top 60 nations in terms of per capita murders or the top 70 or even the top 80 or the top 90. Of the 218 nations and territories listed for per capita murders, the United States of America, Murderville, USA, did not break the top 100. We are, with 4.7 murders per 100,000 people in 2012, number 111. 111th place puts us near the top of the bottom half of all the nations and territories in the world when it comes to total per capita murders, and virtually all, if not all, of those nations ranked higher than us are big state socialist utopias with stringent gun control laws. How tragically disappointing that must be for our moral superiors, and unfortunately for the left, it gets a lot worse because 111th place, America's murder rate of 4.7 per 100,000 citizens, is artificially much higher than it should be because it includes so many deadly, murderous, toxic places like number one on the list of highly gun controlled, democratically governed since the Stone Age murder pits like Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, with strict gun control laws, has a per capita murder rate of 54.6 murders per 100,000 citizens. If Detroit were its own country, it would just beat Venezuela for second as the most murderous country in the world behind Honduras. America's 111th place, 4.7 murder per 100,000 people, also includes, in order, democratically controlled, heavily gun controlled New Orleans with 53.2 murders per 100,000, St. Louis with 35.5, Baltimore with 34.9, Newark with 34.4, Oakland with 31.8, followed by Stockton, 23.7, Kansas City, 22.6, Philadelphia, 21.5, Cleveland, 21.3, Memphis, 20.2, and Atlanta, 19.0, and of course, Chicago, with 18.5 murders per 100,000 people per year. America's per capita average of 4.7 murders includes all of these high crime areas. The first city to appear in gun mad Texas is Dallas, which isn't even in the top 20. America's overall average of 4.7 is as low as it is because of places like Plano, Texas. It's the last city on the list with a murder rate of 0.5. Four. Now, having been to Plano, Texas several times, I can tell you with confidence that virtually every home in Plano, Texas has an entire arsenal of AR-15 assault rifles, semi-automatic shotguns, 30-06 hunting rifles, they got 45s, 357s, they got 38s, they've got 9 millimeters. they have an assortment of 22s for the kids to practice with, not to mention every species of tomahawk, bowie knife, hunting knife, jackknife, bayonet, switchblade, they've got pointy rocks, they've got sharp sticks, 
the per capita murder rate in Gun Nut Central is 0.4 per 100,000. If the United States of America as a nation had the same murder rate as Plano, Texas, we would not be 111 out of 218. We'd be 211 out of 218, well below Switzerland at 0.6, half of Germany, Spain, and Denmark at 0.8 murders, and well, well below half of New Zealand, the Netherlands, Austria, Italy, France, and Australia. If all of America had the murder rate of the gun nut capital of Gun Culture USA, Plano, Texas, then America's per capita murder rate would be one quarter of those murderous, violent, rampaging, death-worshipping Belgians with their horrific 1.6 murders per 100,000. So maybe it's not the guns. Maybe it's the people holding the guns. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to visit us at truthrevolt.org. And to keep these messages coming, please consider making a donation by clicking here.